start by filling up your clutch fluid reservoir. In my car, both the clutch and the brake lines use the same reservoir. That's why I'm filling up with DOT3 brake fluid here. You might notice some air bubbles coming up. Tapping or shaking the reservoir helps it release more air bubbles. This is just to make it easier when bleeding the clutch. When bleeding the clutch line, I have found better luck when I overfill the reservoir all the way to the top instead of just the max line. We can remove the excess later. I'm gonna use one of these self bleeding tools. First we need to open this bleeder valve with a 10mm wrench. Next we take our bleeder tool bottle and position it higher than the clutch line. And then take the tapered adapter and insert it into the bleeder valve. Pump the clutch several times to remove all air from the line. Then close the bleeder valve. Fill up your reservoir if needed or remove any excess fluid and you're done. If this method doesn't work then use the two person bleeding method. That is when somebody pumps the clutch a few times and keeps it pressed down then you quickly open and close the bleeder valve to release the air in the system. Have your partner pump the clutch pedal again a few times and keep it pressed down while you open and close the bleeder valve again. Repeat this process again a few times and done. The system should be bled. Your clutch pedal should be working perfectly. If after all this you press the clutch pedal and it won't spring back up on its own, like it stays glued to the firewall, it means your clutch line still isn't bled. My good friend Angel taught me a third method on what to do in such a case when a stubborn clutch line just won't bleed. Remove your clutch fluid reservoir cap and leave it off. Then you open the bleeder valve and inject the fluid into the clutch line. Then close the bleeder valve quickly before it leaks. This small syringe may not be strong enough to push the fluid in but this one can. Using a rubber tube like this is even better because it creates a tight seal on the bleeder valve and it won't leak when you push in the fluid. Once you are able to push some fluid in, it's like it jump starts the bleeding process. I recommend you use the two person bleeding method after this to bleed out the air bubbles in the system. So overfill your clutch fluid reservoir again and close it. Then have your partner pump the clutch a few times again and hold while you open and close the bleeder valve quickly. You repeat this process a few times and the system should be bled. Fill up your reservoir if needed or remove any excess fluid and you're done. <laughs> 